What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today we're actually going to be doing a little bit of hacking on Instagram, how to download files, how to download them on your desktop, on your iPhone, on your tablet, and, and then is ultimately upload them to Instagram. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about uh, the desktop, since we're already on the desktop, and then we'll move on to the other uh, systems. So when you download from my personal site, any type of Instagram icons, you'll get a folder like this with all of your icons in them, and then you can transfer them to wherever you like. Now, some people use iCloud. I personally use Creative Cloud because it's more stable. Um, iCloud, I've created these upload and download folders, and iCloud kind of like works when it wants to. But you can also use Google Drive and other uh, file transferring software. So here's how you can do it. Extract the files here. And... You're going to receive a folder and in here you're going to have all of your icons, uh, your highlight icons with the circle and without the circle. And these are all the icons. Now on the computer it's going to compress it very tiny to save space. So if you want to view those you can go open view with Windows Photo Viewer and you can zoom in and you can see um, I can't see the percentage here. I think this is, it doesn't show you, but in Photoshop, it's a little bit better. This is kind of like a really shitty photo viewer, but you can see the icons here. Those were without the circles. And then of course you have with the circle and it takes a while to load up and you could see that you have all of the icons there. Now with Etsy, it's a little bit different because Etsy is cheap and they limit their storage to only 20 MB, which is less than what you can send in an email. And they charge a lot of fees and they charge a lot to the customers. Personally, I think that they should up their storage game. Currently right now, Creative Market offers five terabytes of storage. And they take about the same percentage as Etsy. When you take that into equivalation, Maybe you should be buying your files from Creative Market instead of Etsy. But anyways, I digress. So if you extract your file here, you're going to receive on your desktop a text file. And you just double click to open it. And you're going to copy that and then go to your browser and paste the link. Now this is not a real link, uh, download link, and this is a browser. We're not talking about putting it in Google. We're talking about putting it in your actual browser. And I say this and I'm not being a, a smart ass. It's because some people actually put it in the Google search. I'm not kidding you. And then you press enter. Now this is going to go to my website because, um, you know, I'm not going to actually put a live link on here of course, but that is the gist of that. So let's get into uh, next on, on how to download on your iPhone and other devices. But first I wanna show you guys how to, once you get them on your desktop, how, how do you transfer them to uh, somewhere else? Now on iCloud, you have your iCloud drive here and if you open up your cloud drive here, you can see that I've already put some um, icons in here and these can be accessed on your iPhone. So what you just do is you just drag and drop the folder in, in here wherever you want to. You can create a new folder too. So um, uh, I can put them in PSD or whatever. I just drag and drop them into uh, put them in PSD and it'll be in that folder so when you go on your iPhone you can check that out. 
So before we do that, I wanted to not notice here that now we have a green check mark. And the green check mark means that these are available to you on your iPhone now. And so we can go back and look at them on the iPhone. And so if we go in here and we paste these in here, um, it's going to be available. It'll take a few seconds. But if your stuff is not synced up, it's not, it doesn't have a green light, then what you need to do is you need to go here into the Windows uh, thing in here and you need to get the iCloud app from uh, the desktop. And I'll show you here in a minute. So it's actually this app that you need to sign in and sync. Otherwise, it's not going to work. For some reason, the regular one um, doesn't work. You also need to be signed into iTunes in order for it to sync on your desktop. So that's very important. Now, if you have an Apple computer, it will work flawlessly. But if you have a PC and an iPhone, because you're broco <laughs> like me, you're going to have some issues with syncing. That's why I actually prefer using the Creative Cloud Storage because it's a lot simpler. But um, I just wanted to basically let you guys know about that issue with the PC. Once you've uploaded them to your iCloud Drive, you're going to access them on your iPhone in the little blue folder. It's called Files and it's located on your phone. You're going to open that up and then you'll be able to access your iCloud files that you just transferred from your desktop PC. So maybe you're having trouble with both processes. So we'll provide a link into your Etsy store file. Click on it, and then click open. It'll take you to download um, your file or folder. And you have to have sufficient internet for it to download. It'll take a while to download. As you can see, the rose gold marble icons are downloading. And it's going to say repair your download, but that error always shows up for Mediafire. I don't know why, but it will continue to download. And if you don't have sufficient internet, I would suggest connecting your uh, iPhone or Android to an actual um, home Wi-Fi instead of using your cell um, service because that internet can be really crappy and can cause download issues. So once this is downloaded, then you're able to use it on Instagram. So I'm just going to fast forward through this um, so that way it won't waste your time. Depending on the speed of your internet will determine how long it takes to download. So now it's ready for the download and now you can open it up. Um, of course, you will need a zip extractor and you can get one of these in the Play Store for free. ZIP zip extractor and once you unzip it using the free zip extractor in the play store or the apple store um, now you can view the files these are all the files inside um, as you can see you have some beautiful instagram post then you have the icon covers um, and these are the highlight icons that are in there i'm not going to go through all of them but you get the point and then Next, we're going to learn how to upload them to uh, Instagram. So first, you're going to save them to your files, okay, just like so. And then you just go and you just keep saving them to your phone. And it's as simple as that. This is what iZip look like. It can be either yellow or blue. It's an application used to unzip your files onto your phone. Go to the App Store, type zip, and it should come up either the blue one or the yellow one. Either one will work. The blue one is free, the yellow one costs money. Once the software is fully downloaded to your iPhone, now you can extract the files um, using the software. Once you've extracted them, you still need to save them to your camera roll. Click this button right there that's highlighted on the screen so you can save each one to your camera roll. Once you've saved them to your camera roll, now we can upload them to Instagram as an Instagram highlight cover and we'll learn that next. Open Instagram, click the plus button at the top in the right hand corner. You're going to create a story first. 
Since this is a new Instagram account, we have no icons, so we have to create the icons by adding a story. So add a story, and then we can add the highlight by clicking the heart with the story highlight cover. Now add your story, click whichever one you want, and you just click over in the blue check mark. Now you can type something here and then you can also change the cover, you can edit it. Now we're gonna go back in and add the, the highlight icon to the cover and then we can just name it whatever we want and I'm gonna name it eyes. And so now you could see here that we have that there. So if you want to make them bigger, you can without the circle. So you can add um, just the regular um, rose gold icons to that. And we're gonna create a new story. We're gonna add a new cover. And we're going to just basically enlarge that or you can use the ones without the circle. It's totally up to you. And you can make these bigger as well just by zooming in. And just rename it. And I'm just going to call it my art. And so now you have the two new icons there. And that's pretty much it. So now on my personal Instagram, I've used the black aesthetic icons and you just wanna repeat the process until you have all of your icons on there. And thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like and a big thumbs up and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day guys.